write a poem about love once. <laughs> it ended in a Taylor Swift song. I realize now there was a lot I didn't know about love then, and a lot of things I believed that weren't love at all. I knew what it felt like to be worried about by a mama, to wrestle with a daddy, to build tents made of bed sheets with a brother. I knew silly love notes from boys and how they were always passed to the popular girls. I knew sleepovers, watching movies, and sneaking cookie dough with a best friend. We knew that Mr. Darcy and Elizabeth Bennet had something that moved our souls. I knew it sucked not to be asked to homecoming, but it sucked even more to rely on your body to attract a boyfriend. I knew second guessing whether they really loved you and breaking up with them before they could beat you to it. I knew how to be desperate, not single. What I didn't know was the difference between ideal and the marriage of Travis and Emily. I didn't know he wouldn't be my Prince Charming, and I certainly wouldn't be his Cinderella. I didn't know that love could endure sadness, miscommunication, and fighting. I didn't know that his forgiveness would bring me to happy tears, and his acceptance mean more than any dozen rose bouquet or glittering, sterling, happily everlasting piece of jewelry. I didn't know enduring hardships would improve love, would make me want to love better. He may not be slaying real dragons or climbing any existing tall towers, but he is changing his life to consider mine. His every activity is now a part of sacrificing himself for my sake. Doing dishes instead of playing games with friends, playing cheerleader at my art shows, faithfully tracking our finances, and turning down job opportunities that may not be in our future's best interest. What I didn't know then, and what I will still be learning when I'm 80, is that love is sacrifice's synonym, and that our little story is no less significant than Cinderella's. <laughs>